Podcast, Michael Gross, Jamie Kennedy. Tanya Van Gran, Jamie Lee Money Written by, John Welpley Directed by, Dan Michael Paul Running Time, 98 Minutes Tremors, A Cold Day in Hell is the sixth film in the long-running franchise about the giant, carnivorous worms that began back in 1990. And while it might not be going strong it is still going, so there is that. Once again back for another go is Michael Gross as survivalist and anti-government gun enthusiast Burt Gummer. Also returning is Jamie Kennedy as Travis Walker, whom we discovered was Bert's illegitimate son in the previous entry. Bert is back in the town of Perfection, NV, running Walter Chang's general store. Bert receives a call from Dr. Rita Sims who is part of a research team working in far northern Canada. Sims believes that the Graboids, the affectionate name of the worms, may be behind the recent deaths to several team members. Bert is skeptical since the worms have only been found in warm climates but he and Travis set off to investigate. At the facility he meets a young graboid hunter named Valerie McKee who turns out to be the now adult daughter of Valentine McKee, the Kevin Bacon character from the first Tremors film. Bert and Travis soon find out that not only are there several graboids in the area but also the flying, ass blaster, versions. On top of that they also have to contend with a secret government black ops group who is trying to weaponize the worms. While none of the Tremor sequels, nor the one prequel, have ever been able to hold a candle to the original, A Cold Day in Hell is definitely one to miss. This sleep-inducing borefest cannot even be saved by Bert's over-the-top arrogance and crankiness. The subplots involving the secret government agency and Bert's becoming infected by a parasite of the worm mucks up what should be mindless worm shooting fun. Fun wise cracking that has been one of the key features of previous films is poorly written and forced. The supporting characters add very little and are disposable in every way. The visual effects are the poorest scenes so far in the franchise. The Burt Gummer character is still the main reason to watch these films but with Michael Gross now into his 70s one can only hope there is a better film left to send his character off to a gun rack in the sunset because it definitely was not this one. Blu-ray Extras The Making of Tremors, A Cold Day in Hell, 1406, is a six-part look at the film's production, featuring interviews with director Don Michael Paul and the cast. Anatomy of a Scene 401 takes a look at one of the film's notable scenes including its digital effects and stunt work. Inside Shang's Market 247 explores the set constructed to recreate the location from the original film. Tremors, A Cold Day in Hell Blu-ray Review reviewed by Timothy Jansen on June 23rd. Rating, 1.55 Related Tags, Monster Movie Tremors Tremors, A Cold Day in Hell.